Long time no see, right? So today I wanted to create something uh, that reminded me of fall. So I came up with this eyeshadow look. So it's very bronzy. The glitter is completely optional. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you already know that I love glitter. I still do. Um, so I went ahead and added, but if you don't want to incorporate it, you can leave it as it is. So once again, this is the look that I will be showing you. It is a get ready with me, so you will see um, my foundation routine, my eyebrow routine, everything. If you guys have any requests or anything that you would like to see, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to create some looks that you guys request for me to do. So thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. All right, well, let's get started. First, I am going to prime my face. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance. I squirt about two pumps on my hands and then apply it all over. Next, for my brows, I like using an angled stiff brush. And I will go ahead and apply a little bit of the product. This is the MAC Fluid Line. And I wipe off any excess on a tissue. And I start in the center of my brow and bringing it out to the other parts where I need it the most. So for me, it's right in the center and also on the inner part of my brow. to go over and brush them a little bit just to remove any excess product. the brows and I like to use a concealer or sometimes even my foundation you don't want this part to look too white otherwise you get that halo around your brows and that's not cute so keep it the same color as your skin For the eyeshadow for this video I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe I start with my crease and using this big fluffy brush I will go ahead and apply this crease color all over Using another blending brush, but this one is a little bit smaller than the previous one. Here I'm putting them side by side so that you can see that the second one is a little bit smaller. And I'm defining my crease a lot more using a darker color. Then here I'm taking the previous brush and blending both of those colors.
I felt like my eyes needed a little bit more definition, so I'm placing this darker color on the outer part of my crease. going back with my lid brush and I'm applying whatever is left on the brush and I'm reapplying it on the edges just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. I recently ran out of my liquid liner so I'm using a pencil liner and first I am creating that link. Then to make sure that liner is set for the day and it doesn't move around on me, I set it with a black eyeshadow. To wipe off any fallout, I put a little bit of my moisturizer on the tissue. Here I'm applying my foundation and this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and so far I like it. Um, it does give me full coverage. The only thing, it is too light for me but um, the reason I got it a shade lighter was because I was told that this foundation oxidizes throughout the day. So um, I got a shade lighter and throughout the day it will darken up on me. concealer under my eyes uh, where it's mainly where I need it the most. Anything that I have left I like applying it on the sides of my nose and my lips since I tend to get a little bit red on those areas. Then 
I go over with translucent powder and set the areas where I applied my concealer and also where I tend to get a little bit oily throughout the day which is my chin, my nose and forehead. is not the same for everybody you have to take into consideration what parts of your face you want to show slimmer or smaller for me it would be my chin I feel like my chin is too long so I contour there I also contour under my cheekbones I don't contour my forehead and that is because my forehead is already pretty short so there's no need unless I'm wearing a ponytail and I'm pulling my hair back then I do contour a little bit just on the sides but for the most part it's just on my cheeks and jawline. Oh and my nose, I can't forget the nose. Wow, do you see the difference? Now even though you want your face to look slimmer, you don't want it to look too obvious. So for this, I like going with my powder and powder brush and blending any harsh lines. Now back to the eyes, I like using a very small dense brush and I'm using it to apply the color on my lower lash line. Then I'm taking a softer brush and I'm blending any harsh lines. I'm using the same color that I used under my brows to highlight my inner corners. This next step is optional. This is where I apply the glitter and this is Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. So I will be placing this right above that lower lash line color. Then I'm taking a very small brush and blending out that glitter. Don't know why, whatever is left on my blush brush, I apply it on my nose and my chin. Does anybody else do that? Am I the only one? I don't know. I'm 
I don't apply too much highlight and that is because I am very oily so I don't want to you know give my, myself more shine with highlight so I apply it very sparingly This lip paint is very hydrating. It does not dry out my lips like other lip paints do. This one is very nourishing and it smells delicious. It smells like mint. Well, that is all guys. Thank you for watching. If you've been subscribed to me for a long time, thank you so, so much for sticking around. Even though I haven't uploaded in forever, I promise I will upload a lot more frequently now. And I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. Bye!